Hey everyone, my name is The Birdbrain and today we are drawing some backgrounds. Now, while I consider myself pretty decent at animation, compositing, and rigging, I just cannot draw backgrounds. I just can't. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried. Like, I learned it in school, heck, I even taught it to students that were failing. And somehow, somewhere, my teacher thought it was a good idea to pair me up with these amazing students that were failing at perspective class. Fortunately for them, I'm better at teaching than doing, so they passed their class very well. <laughs> Um, so anyway, all this to say that, that I know the principle of perspective and stuff. I just cannot draw pretty backgrounds. So today I will introduce you to a very cool feature called the drawing guides. So the drawing guides are a tool in Harmony that allow you to draw backgrounds even if you can't. So it's located right there. Uh, you can just find it with the views. It's called guides. You click on it, it's there. And within that view, there's little icons that we're going to see later. And if you press on plus, you have lots of different perspective guides that you can choose from. I'm going to go with a three point bird's eye view because I'm a bird. So here are some things to know about guides. The drawing guides are the drawing aids that are there to help you draw backgrounds and objects with different perspectives. In traditional art, this was often done with tools such as rulers, t-squares, set squares and vanishing points and such. And you had to get crazy big tables. Like, like I was sitting there drawing my background on my little sheet of paper and like my vanishing points were like so far away and I had to use a kind of t-rulers to kind of get my lines right with my triangle thing. It was a nightmare. I didn't like it. So now we can draw in the digital world and you can actually get these guides right in your scene. Ah! The drawing guides work with the drawing tools, so brush, pencil, stamp, eraser, anything you can draw with. If you get the transform tool, you're not going to see your guides because otherwise your scene would get cluttered and would be hard to follow. So you can create these guides from your scene, you can also import them from another scene or from Storyboard Pro because they, they use the same system, so you can import and export to Storyboard Pro as well. But for now, we're just going to work in the scene and I'm going to get my three-point perspective bird's eye view to show you the ropes. So what are these little icons? So of course, this one is to enable your guides. So if they're not enabled, well, you cannot use them. This one is to decide if your brush will align with your guides or not, because sometimes you'll want to draw some very cool building thing and add these little windows or something. <laughs> oh crap. And sometimes you will want to add some little details. So you can disable this and say like, oh, I want to add some trees because the building is really, really high. You see, I'm, I'm trying very hard for you guys, but it's not, it's not, it's not my forte. But uh, yeah, you can try and draw like a cityscape and pretend that you can do perspective even if you can't. Which is... Ah, tangent! Which is pretty cool, <laughs> if you ask me, uh, to be able to do that. So enabled and disabled. Um, this one is to lock your guides because sometimes when you draw, you get so crazy and then you move your perspective guides and you get very sad about it. But fortunately for you, you can control Z that, which is great. <laughs> But you can also lock your guides in place so that you cannot move them anymore, which is even better. This one is to decide if your guides are enabled or not with your eraser. This little icon will allow you to see your... Because if you don't draw with the grid, sometimes it's hard to know what you're doing. So this will help you to keep your things in check. So this one will activate the grid. And you can change the number of lines it shows you with that little slider. So it's pretty cool to pretend you can draw backgrounds. Like sometimes I like to imagine that I can draw backgrounds. So pressing on Alt will allow you to lock your pencil in one direction. So if you press on Alt, you can then raise your pencil from the screen and continue to draw along that line, which is very useful if you're drawing like streets or something. And uh, yeah, so it's very fun. There's three-point perspective, there is even isometric grid, which is something that I really want to experiment with in the following weeks. Uh, this is what they use to create these like video games backgrounds that are always in the same perspective. So I know that in school we would use that to create like the plan for a room, like if we were to create like a character's bedroom, we would just make like a sample using that little square and say like, okay, well here there's a bed, it's gonna be a bunk bed because I can. And you can start to build from there, and here there's like a door, and there's a desk over here, something. So it's very fun to just try and get your ideas down. So another thing you can do is start to draw with these guides to kind of lay out your animation. Because now I've been using them for doing for, to do stupid stuff. But actually, if you get yourself um, some guides, you can draw a grid on the floor for your animation. Maybe like lock down some basic shapes. Like here, there's gonna be like a house with a door, and your animation will take place on the floor here, 
we can take that image and then you can go to File, Export, and export a layout image and this can export your drawing to Photoshop or Clip Studio Paint or anything if you want to draw your backgrounds in there instead and you can also export and you're gonna have your guides so it's very cool to do that on a production I was on in the past animation team caught on to the background team so the back we didn't have enough backgrounds to animate to so they told the background guys to just come in our scene and draw the basic layout of perspective like that and after that we were starting with that to animate and they were taking this to Photoshop to paint the BG it was amazing and crazy and it worked uh, it's not the best scenario, but hey, it worked. And with that, I wish you a wonderful week. And I'm gonna just stay here and have fun trying with those guides.